It says City Council is requested to approve a $5,000 contribution to the 2011 Wyndham Championship. The funds will be used for the purchase of banners to be displayed throughout the city. Did you notice they didn't say that when they moved to vote on the agenda item? North Carolina Code 138A-36, Public Servant Participation in Official Actions. No public servant authorized to perform an official action requiring the exercise of discretion shall participate in an official action by the employing entity. If the public servant may incur a reasonably foreseeable financial benefit, which financial benefit would impair the public servant's independence of judgment, or from which it could reasonably be inferred that the financial benefit would influence the public servant's participation in the official action. I love golf tournaments. They're fun. And we're going to have a great one. We really are. The problem with uh, this situation is uh, there's, it's, it's about a, uh, let's call it a freebie fest for a lot of folks who live in Greensboro who get free tickets and enjoy hospitality tents, and enjoy really a, a really great time. In this particular situation, it appears that uh, there may be a quid pro quo clarice. A public servant shall take appropriate steps to remove himself or herself to the extent necessary to protect the public interest from any proceeding in which the public servant's impartiality might reasonably be questioned due to the public servant's familiar personal or financial relationship with the participant in the proceeding. This is conflict of interest, Greensboro Court, Code of Ordinances, City Charter of Greensboro. Any officer, department head, or employee who has financial interest, direct or indirect, in any proposed contract with the city or in, in a proposed sale of any land yada yada, shall make known that, uh, known that interest and shall refrain from voting upon or otherwise participating in making of such contract or sale. That means that anyone who votes to give money to an entity in which they will uh, personally financially benefit, as in free stuff, needs to disclose it before they vote and if it is material, they should not be able to vote on the agenda item. And then now we have a situation where you're voting on something that you may very well financially benefit from in the form of uh, complimentary uh, fundraising opportunities.